Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass. Let us acknowledge our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, Give eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, 
strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In a vision, I, Daniel, saw during the night the four winds of heaven stirred up the great sea, from which emerged four immense beasts, each different from the others. The first was like a lion, but with eagle's wings. While I watched, the wings were plucked. It was raised from the ground to stand on two feet, like a man, and given a human mind. The second was like a bear. It was raised up on one side, and among the teeth in its mouth were three tusks, it was given the order, Up, devour much flesh. After this, I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard. On its back were four wings, like those of a bird, and it had four heads. This beast, dominion, was given. After this, in the visions of the night, I saw the fourth beast, different from all the others, terrifying, horrible, and of extraordinary strength. It had great iron teeth with which it devoured and crushed, and what was left it trampled with its feet. I was considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst, and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man and a mouth that spoke arrogantly. As I watched, thrones were set up and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed up from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. I watched then from the first of the arrogant words, which the horn spoke until the beast was slain, and its body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which also lost their dominion, were granted a prolongation of life for a time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You springs, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. 
Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today is about the vision of the prophet Daniel, a vision of four wild and powerful beasts. Apat na mababangis, malalakas, at makapangyarihang mga halimaw. And yet, towards the end of the first reading, these four beasts, although strong and powerful, gave way to one coming from the clouds, like the Son of Man, whose domination will be everlasting and whose kingship will never be destroyed. The beasts were all destroyed and the kingdom and kingship of the one coming down from heaven lasts forever. My dear brothers and sisters, if we lived during the time of the prophet Daniel, we will understand the meaning of his vision. At the time, Christians believers in, G in, in God, Jews were persecuted because of their faith. And so the vision of the beasts is Daniel's way of assuring those who believe in God that the worldly powers will not last long. The beasts Daniel was referring to were the great powers of the world, the great empires that ruled the world. 
And Daniel was telling the believers of God, these kingdoms, these powers will one day come to an end. All dominions, all kingdoms of this world will not last. Only God and His kingdom will last forever. And this is the same truth that Jesus tells us in our gospel today. Jesus said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Everything will come, will come to an end, but God will always remain. God remains forever. Only the power of God will remain. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are reminded by our readings that there is no power on earth that can compare and equal to the power of God. Walang kapangyarihan sa mundong ito ang pwedeng pumantay sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Kahit pagsamasamahin pa ang lahat ng makapangyarihan sa mundong ito, wala pa sa katiting ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Because the powers of this world are temporary, fleeting, and limited. Only God and His power and His kingdom is infinite. And so, if we claim power for ourselves, and we do not associate God to it, then we will end up like the four beasts in the vision of Daniel. We will end up like the great empires in the history of the world that are now gone. We will end up in vain. But if our power is derived from God, then we know our power will remain strong. My dear brothers and sisters, let us always remember that if we are powerful, it is because God is powerful, not us. God alone is the source of power. He is our power and He empowers us. Kapag may mga bagay na kaya tayong gawin, nagagawa natin hindi dahil magaling tayo, hindi dahil malakas tayo, kundi dahil magaling at malakas ang Diyos. At kung meron man tayong kapangyarihan sa mundong ito, huwag nating angkinin na akin ang kapangyarihan. Kaya kong paikutin ang lahat sa aking mga kamay dahil ako'y makapangyarihan. Ang kapangyarihan sa mundong ito ay nanggagaling din sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Kilalani natin ang ating kapangyarihan na nagmumula sa Diyos. Dahil ang kapangyarihang hiwalay sa Diyos ay huwad na kapangyarihan. Ang kapangyarihang hiwalay sa Diyos, ang kapangyarihang walang kinikilalang Diyos, guguho, masisira, magwawakas, babagsak. St. Paul, in one of his letters, wrote, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Our power, our real power, comes only from the Lord. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we can do all things only through Jesus, 
who empowers and strengthens us. Please stand. The Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His return. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may respond to the call for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may increase our awareness of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer that the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us also remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God, listen to our prayers. Open our eyes to your presence all around us. Make us closer to you each day. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are, are full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be heaven. thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. We once again invite you to the events leading to the Feast of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal tomorrow. This afternoon, the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal from St. Vincent de Paul Parish along San Marcelino Street, uh, the parish uh, administered by the Vincentian Fathers, will visit the Manila Cathedral at 6 o'clock tonight the Vincentian Fathers, the Daughters of Charity, and other members of the Vincentian family will gather here at the Manila Cathedral for an evening prayer 
and this is open to anyone who wish to attend the Vespers. Tomorrow morning at 7.30, we shall celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal with a celebration of the Holy Mass. The image of Our Lady will stay at the Manila Cathedral until Sunday, and uh, she will be here for veneration and for prayers. This coming Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent, and so we invite you to prepare yourselves as we enter a new liturgical year and as we prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus. On Monday, November 29, we shall also begin with our Novena Masses in preparation for the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception on December 8. Our Novena Masses will be at 12.10 in the afternoon on weekdays, 7.30 in the morning on Saturdays, and 10 o'clock in the morning on Sundays. There will be a Novena prayer 15 minutes before the Novena Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.